डब्ल्यू जी एस एटी फोर और वर्ल्ड जियोडेटिक सिस्टम नाइनटीन एटी फोर सो बिफोर वी गो हेड लेट मी टेल यू दैट इन ऑर्डर टू डू दी एक्चुअल कंप्यूटेशन मैथमेटिकल कंप्यूटेशन वी नीड सर्टेन ऑब्जेक्ट और शेप विच कैन बी यूज फॉर कंप्यूटेशन अर्थ इज नॉट नॉट अ राउंड इट इज नॉट ऑफ एनी शेप इट इज अ जियोइड ओके सो यू नीड टू हैव सर्टेन से लिप्सॉइड और सर्टेन शेप विच कैन बेस्ट फिट ग्लोबली ओवर दी अर्थ सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल जियोइड ब्लू कलर that is the actually means say level earth is like that it is not what we think of and in order to say you know to have a good uh, shape we can use a local data and we can have the same the a and the inverse inverse plotting for computation this is the local data this this various uh, countries are doing but in order to get a global uh, ellipsoid you can say to cover the earth which covers the earth and that best fit globally this is wgs 80 84 data is nothing but the base from which you start computation that is it will have its own uh, axis and other points are computed using that axis so world geodetic system 1984 is a datum featuring coordinates that change with time it is geographic coordinate system it is gcs And WGS eighty four is defined and maintained by NGA United States National Geospatial Intel Intelligence Agency. The coordinate uh, origin of WGS eighty four is meant to be located at the center of mass of the Earth. That is the uncertainty. It is believed in WGS eighty four to be less than two centimeter. WGS eighty four meridian of zero latitude. It's just one hundred and two meter on the east of Greenwich meridian. that is at the latitude of the royal observatory so there is a separate for wgs 84 there is there is a separate zero latitude which is 102 meter away east from greenwich wgs 84 as i said we need numbers we need some ellipsoid so this is an oblate spheroid uh, with uh, with e equator a as this number and flattening inverse flattening as this number the the refined value of the wgs 84 gravitational constant gm which is including the earth atmosphere is this number and the angular velocity as i said that the datum feature uh, coordinate uh, change with time the angular velocity of the earth is defined as this number so these are the specific numbers which which uh, wg city for uses the global positioning system it uses wg 84 as its reference coordinate system because we have been using the gps for a quite of quite a number of years now it's made up of reference ellipsoid a standard coordinate system altitude data and a geoid and similar to the you know you know nad 83 uh, north american datum of 1983 it uses the center of mass earth center of mass as the coordinate origin now the question arises normally people talk about utm wg city for utm wg city for what is the difference they both are talked together see utm because the coordinate systems are different utm universal transfer mercator and this is a projected coordinate system wg city for is a geographic coordinate system wg city for is geographic coordinate system that mean we are using an ellipsoid or a spheroid that covers the earth uh, almost perfectly so the gcs will will give you in degrees value like we get latitude and longitude this we get in degree or degree minute second so this is the actual earth uh, you can say uh, globe you can say uh, wgs 84 is datum for that but utm when we to put a uh, uh, say a cylinder and then we try to project just assume that the center of earth has a light and then we open this and we project all these latitude longitude imaginary on that surface and we open it that becomes a projected coordinate system these are based on planes there is a spheroid actually projected onto a two dimensional uh, surface and it utilizes the linear units not the degree minute second it uses feet meters so you always see the utm will come in feet meters okay so geographic coordinate systems are based on spheroid 
and utilize the angular units as I just suggested degrees okay and UTM meters.